born in Leonid Brezhnev was the general secretary of the Central Committee of the Communist Party for the Soviet Union over the course of 18 years during the Cold War, taking control of the Soviet Union after Nikita Khrushchev. From 1964 to 1982, Brezhnev presided over the country using the detente policy. This policy was used roughly during the middle of the Cold War and was intended to help thaw out the tense relations between the United States and the Soviet Union. This led to both nations signing various treaties, such as both Strategic Arms Limitation Treaties, or SALT I and SALT II, which reduced the use of arms for both nations, and the Helsinki Accord, which promised free elections throughout Europe. Despite the good intentions of the detente policy, Brezhnev was still responsible for much of the Soviet Union's economic decay, which eventually led to the disbanding of the Union itself. Brezhnev was a protege of Joseph Stalin and Nikita Khrushchev. His career as an engineer flourished under Stalin's regime, which advanced him to secretary of the regional party committee of his hometown in what is now Ukraine. During World War II, Brezhnev served as political commissar in the Red Army for the Soviet Union, becoming a major general in 1943. In 1950, he was sent to Moldavia to work in the Moldavian Communist Party to assimilate the Romanians to the Soviet agenda. He continued to advance his positions until Stalin's death in 1953. It was not until Nikita Khrushchev's rise to power that Brezhnev was promoted to second secretary under the Kazakhstan Communist Party in 1954. In 1957, following other steady promotions, Brezhnev was made a full member of the Politburo after demonstrating his loyalty to Khrushchev by working against the anti-party group that wished to oust him. In 1964, Brezhnev was Khrushchev's heir apparent and party leader. However, Brezhnev turned on Khrushchev three months later, leading the coalition that forced him from power. Brezhnev became first secretary in the division of power afterward. Brezhnev was soon the dominant leader of the Soviet Union. Upon reaching his position of power, Brezhnev turned to foreign and military affairs. In 1967, he created what is now known as the Brezhnev Doctrine, that stated that the Soviet Union was allowed to intervene should socialist countries be threatened, which justified the invasion of Czechoslovakia in 1968. Brezhnev also bolstered the Soviet Navy and built up other areas of defense and aerospace industries. This laser-like focus on defense left other portions of the economy to wilt with deprivation of funds. Agriculture and healthcare were notably forgotten during this time. Standards of living in the Soviet Union unsurprisingly declined. Brezhnev is not the most widely known Soviet leader, though his reign is the longest of any Soviet, excluding Joseph Stalin. He was not part of any grand battles or coups, and rather than forcefully taking control of the nation, patiently ascended the corporate ladder incrementally. He was not assassinated, nor did he commit suicide. His death was as unspectacular as his career. He died of a heart attack at the age of 76, not unlike countless others. Though his life and career may not have been very dramatic, Brezhnev was still key to the Cold War, helping to sink the Soviet Union into economic despair, which was quite different from when Khrushchev was in power. Brezhnev's focus on defense spending did not amount to very much, unlike Khrushchev's important adjustments to science and technology spending. Sputnik, the first artificial satellite, went down in history for being a revolutionary part of science and technology. Brezhnev's bad decisions for cutting corners on agriculture and healthcare only worsened under the Soviet Union's already unremarkable economy. Too many people and too few resources, along with poor leadership, led to the Soviet Union's disbandment in 1991. Even though Gorbachev was in power at the time, Brezhnev's bad decisions certainly helped lead to the Soviet Union's demise. Brezhnev was in power at the same time that Richard Nixon was president. This was when the Soviet Union was at its most powerful and influential compared to the United States. The Watergate scandal and the United States' defeat in Vietnam made the U.S. seem weak. The Soviet Union spread its diplomatic influence to Africa and the two world leaders passed the Anti-Ballistic Missile Treaty in 1972, which banned both countries to design systems that would intercept oncoming missiles, so that neither the US nor the Soviet Union would be tempted to strike the other without the fear of retaliation. The last years of Brezhnev's rule were marked by a growing personality cult in his honor, as he was fairly charismatic and endearingly known for his love of medals. As Brezhnev said of some writers who had remarked disparagingly about this minor obsession, if they are poking fun at me, it means they like me. In the last years of his life, his health was deteriorating rapidly. He was addicted to sleeping pills, alcohol, and smoking, which led to the chronic worsening of his nervous system. He was overweight and suffered from strokes until he was no longer allowed to personally attend public events in his shaky state. After his heart attack, he was honored with a state funeral where he was dressed for burial with all his medals. After his death, there was the matter of finding a replacement leader. He was succeeded by Yuri Andropov, who ruled for a short two years until his own death. Andropov was succeeded by Konstantin Cherniko, who was succeeded by Mikhail Gorbachev. Though Brezhnev may not have been the most well-known leader of the Soviet Union, he was still an integral part of the Cold War, and most notably for helping to dissolve the Soviet Union. Despite these shortcomings, he was popular from the start of his reign to the day he died, diligently climbing the corporate ladder and ascending to power without much force. Brezhnev helped to reduce tension between the Soviet Union and the United States by cooperating with Nixon. He had the most years of reign in the Soviet Union aside from Joseph Stalin, and he had the best eyebrows of any world leader at the time.